Ever noticed how your eyes immediately jump to those big bright traffic cones on the road? Whether you're driving past a construction site or squeezing through a detour, those tall cones are hard to miss. And one thing about them stands out even more than their shape. It's that unmistakable loud shade of orange. But have you ever stopped and asked yourself, why orange? Out of all the colors in the world, why do construction cones almost always come in this blazing pumpkin-like tone? It turns out the answer isn't just a random choice or tradition. It's backed by science, psychology, history, and a surprising bit of practicality. Today, we're going to dive into the story behind the color of the humble construction cone right here on History of Simple Things. The very first reason cones are orange is perhaps the most obvious, visibility. Bright orange is one of the most eye-catching colors in the human visual spectrum. Our brains are naturally wired to notice it, especially in contrast to the gray tones of roads and concrete. It's not just about brightness, it's about wavelength. Orange and red wavelengths fall at the longer end of the visible light spectrum, making them highly visible even from a distance or in low light conditions. And in environments like construction zones, where safety is everything, that visibility can literally save lives. Drivers need to be alerted immediately to a change in traffic flow or a hazard ahead. A color that stands out against almost every natural and urban background is crucial. But why not red, you might ask? Red is also noticeable. That's true. But red is also heavily used in stop signs, brake lights, and warning signals. If construction cones were red, they'd blend into the sea of red we already see on the road and the impact would be diluted. Orange, on the other hand, is used less frequently, so it triggers a different, more specific kind of attention. Sort of like, hey, something unusual is happening here, slow down and pay attention. To understand the story of their color, we need to take a quick detour into the history of traffic cones themselves. Believe it or not, the earliest traffic markers weren't even cones. Back in the early 1900s, road workers used wooden tripods or even wooden barrels to block off hazardous areas. These were bulky, heavy, and frankly, not all that visible. Plus, if a car hit one, let's just say it didn't end well for either party. The first modern traffic cone, made of rubber, was invented in the 1940s by Charles D. Scanlon, a street painter in Los Angeles. He was frustrated with how ineffective wooden barriers were, so he came up with a lightweight, flexible, and durable solution. The original cones were black. Yes, black. Imagine that. Black cones on black asphalt. As you might expect, it wasn't a long-term solution. As the years went on, manufacturers began experimenting with colors that were easier to see. Early versions tried yellow and even white, but nothing performed quite as well as bright orange. In the 1960s and 70s, as road safety standards became more formalized, orange became the color of choice for construction and temporary hazard warnings. Over time, it became the industry standard, not just in the US, but in many countries around the world. The color orange has a special place in the broader safety world. It's used for safety vests, warning signs, and hazard markings. The reason? Again, visibility. In fact, the color is so integral to safety communications that it's officially classified in many safety guidelines. For example, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, and the Manual on Uniform Traffic Control Devices, MUTCD, in the US both designate orange as the color for temporary traffic control devices. The message it sends is clear. Caution. This area is temporarily different and you need to pay extra attention. What's interesting is that this isn't just a North American thing. Many other countries, regardless of their language or driving customs, also associate orange with construction and caution. 
It's almost become a universal color code. Even in countries that drive on the opposite side of the road or have different road sign shapes, the orange cone stands as a shared visual language, one that transcends borders. That kind of unspoken understanding is incredibly powerful, especially in situations where reaction time matters. But the story doesn't stop with just paint. The materials used to make modern construction cones are closely tied to the color they display. Most cones today are made from durable UV-resistant PVC or rubber. These materials can be dyed bright orange during the manufacturing process, and they retain their color well, even after prolonged sun exposure. That UV resistance is key. After all, cones sit out in the blazing sun for hours, sometimes weeks at a time. To make them even more effective, many cones are fitted with reflective collars or stripes, usually white or silver. These reflect light from car headlights, making the cones even more visible at night. But here's the kicker. Those reflective materials only work well when they're contrasted against a strong base color, like orange. The combination of orange and reflective white is what makes cones almost impossible to miss, whether it's noon or midnight, rain or shine. Let's play a little game of what if. What if traffic cones were blue or green or even purple? Well, first they'd blend into many common backgrounds. Green would disappear into grassy areas. Blue might clash with emergency lights or road signs. Purple, well, purple is great for royalty, but not so great for visibility. The truth is orange just works. It's functional, psychologically effective, and it's already part of our collective awareness. Changing it now would only create confusion and reduce safety. And in construction zones, confusion can be deadly. That's not to say orange is always the color. In some niche environments, like indoor warehouse settings or areas where visual contrast with orange walls is needed, you might see cones in other colors like lime green or blue. But on roads, highways, and construction sites, orange reigns supreme for a reason. So next time you're inching through a roadwork zone or rerouted because of construction, take a moment to appreciate those orange cones. They're not just traffic nuisances. They're carefully designed safety tools built from decades of trial, science, and smart visual design. Orange wasn't just picked because it's loud. It was picked because it works. It keeps people safe, alerts drivers in milliseconds, and speaks a universal language of caution, even without words. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.